It's a beautiful day today. Pretty windy. It'll get rid of the humidity we got. And I've been away for a couple of days too, so some fresh air should definitely knock the 26 degrees that I'm having in this room. And yeah. Hello members of the internet and welcome to a computer overview. And today I am pleased to announce that we are going to do the reviews, well, the overviews on those computers, as well as uh, the operating system test drives a little bit more differently. See, this is going to be the first portion where I'm going to be doing the demonstration of uh, the uh, computer itself, if I have to, and the Linux distributions and everything. I'm going to start the intro here, and we're going to do the rest of the overview which will definitely require us needing a screen, I will do this on my 29-inch TV. That's right, we're going to get bigger screens this time. It's been fun having my 15-inch uh, screen, but sometimes it wouldn't turn on, sometimes it would not really work too well. And at, at that point, you know, 15-inch, I'd like to get more footage, well, I'd like to get more of the screen in the camera than anything else and I'd be able, I'd be more happier to, or happier anyways, I don't think more happier can be expressed. Um, anyways, I'll be, I would be happier to, you know, make you guys see it from my eyes instead of seeing in an angle. So hopefully that, that'll work out, but anyways, there's a lot of things going around here. There's a whole lot of, uh, uh, revamping to do so and nothing really here is going to stay so so now that it's windy outside I'm also doing a noise test to see how noisy the background is and with all this let's begin what we have here today is a Hewlett Packard Omnibook 900 uh, this is powered by a Pentium 2 400 megahertz and it has 96 megs of RAM as well as a 6 gig hard drive. This one I think they normally ship with 64 megs, but this user probably added uh, a 32 meg stick extra. The Omnibook 900 from HP is actually a, it looks more to be like a business oriented machine by the stylish and looks of it. It also features your well, this is the uh, trackpad, and this is the, oh, what is this? Uh, forgot the name, damn. Huh. This one's unique. Uh, it features the Quartzy keyboard from Germany, and this laptop is indeed from overseas. So, I only saw this when I picked it up uh, at the store, and then when I got home, I noticed it when I you know when I started using it so I was pretty surprised at the front we have our power LED the hard drive LED as well as our battery LED speaking of battery it's at the front all you have to do is just slide the tab to the right and you can just simply go ahead and pull the battery itself removal is the reverse of deinstallation put it back in and slide the tab to the left as a tab to the left over here we have two card bus adapters. One of them is equipped with the uh, 3Com credit card and 100 Ethernet adapter. I don't have the plug, which is typical. This is the this is where you plug in your 19 volt AC adapter, and behind this is the connector for your CD or floppy drive, which I don't have. So there is don't expect anything to be tested on this op on this laptop, and well, it's been shipped with Windows 98 French. Um, it comes with Windows 98 French from the actual France distribution. Well, I mean the French version, so I'd like to keep it stock. Anyways, that's enough blabbering. Here's your serial port, parallel VGA, one USB port, and your expansion dock or your expansion port. And on the other side we have our PS2 for the keyboard or mouse, a reset button, an IR receiver, a line in. You know, that's a line in, that's a microphone, that's a line out, that's a ventilation for your 
CPU, and this is where you take out your hard drive. You just open that door, get that little tab of plastic, and you, you should pull the hard drive once you unscrew the screw from under right there. Yeah, that's the screw I'm talking about. One thing for sure, we're going to be uh, giving that thing a test drive on in the other room. But first, it's going to be doing it on its own. This little puppy still holds a charge, a full charge. I'm not kidding. It turns on. So, with that in mind, let's go on the other side. Alright, hope this works. Uh, the uh, screen on my camcorder seems to show a white square instead of the no signal on the TV. I put some light, but uh, see what happens. And we're off. Oh, well, there you go. Hitting F2 to, add, to enter the setup. All right. Um, you can pause the video at any time you want for those uh, options, but the video display device is automatic. You can also use both. So you can use both displays. You just have to make sure you set this to both. But I'll just uh, keep it as automatic. Video expansion is basically what it reads on the right yeah right now at lower resolution video image is not expanded to cover the entire lcd at lower resolution the video image is expanded to cover the entire lcd which basically means because this is a tft screen if it's 640 by 480 the screen will show it respectively it won't stretch the stretch it as a, what the um newer screens would do all right uh, let's keep on going this is all we got for options you can also assign specifically what you want for your ps2 both are automatic which basically is pretty much the same thing i guess disabled the internal pointing device if external ps2 mouse is present that's pretty much what it, what it is really uh, ID controller, everything controller. Um, this is all the uh, IRQs and resources administration. We got power, everything that's there. Suspend, turn on lock, all the stuff. Uh, I'd like to have my hard drive first, but uh, all floppies first, that's why. You can change the value with F5 or F6. So F6 moves it up, and let's do this. My camcorder is not a happy camper, and I'm behind, hello. Well, that's a lot of glare on that TV. Well, hopefully it'll do great. Things are sure churning. Anytime. Well, stuff's happening. There we go. Bye bye, dog. Now keep in mind, uh, on my little uh, LCD screen on my camcorder, it, show, it still shows it a little tilted, which is a little odd, but I can kind of see where it is, sort of, and my dog's back from the, from the nowhere, but I'll be working on it just to make sure that I can, um, <laughs> how can I say that? 
I can at least you know make it as straight as possible. I have to yet I have yet to put my tower up in the on the uh on the desk anyways to begin with. Anyways, that's enough of the uh, chit chat. Let's get back on track. And this is Windows 98. Nice login screen. Looks from the first edition, but it actually is from the second edition. All right. Oh. Well, I seem not to know the password. Don't I? No. Oh well. With Windows 95, Windows 98, Windows Millennium. What the fuck is a logging account anyways? One mono speaker, that's all you get. And how's the battery doing? Right now I'm actually asking a little bit more of a load. I never plugged the VGA on it yet. But it's doing darn fine. Oh. Wow. 85%. Okay, I never thought McAfee would pop up today. Well, goodbye. Okay, so what do we have? Um, as applications we got Adobe Photoshop 6. Yep, we do. We have Acrobat 4. Well, we got the accessories, typical stuff. We got Jask. Paint Shop Pro 7, Animation Shop, and Utility, the Tube Converter, okay. Oh look, the Lexmark Z45 piece of shit printer is installed in there, I wonder why. Speaking of pieces of shit, well, there's another one. MGI Photo Suit, or Photo Suite, whatever you want to say. Looks like it's some business stuff, Video Wave, wow. Service on the France Telecom is what well, I pretty much believe is the actual proof that this laptop is from overseas. And I'm actually well impressed by it. But there's a few things, as in leftover photos, that can actually back me up again with that. Uh, we got Office 97. I'm pretty sure that's 97 anyways, yeah. It's been registered to me and myself. Yeah. Me and myself. Well, there's a photo that seems like it comes from another place, and there's cars, which makes me believe that this does not come from Quebec, or Canada, or anywhere. It seems to come from Belgicom 2001, if I, uh, if I see uh, from the down there. So this probably is definitely in the eastern, uh, well, the other great piece of land, <laughs> or in Europe, that would be the most proper way to say it. And yeah, well that's pretty much what it is. It's basically an Omnibook 900 from, yeah, from overseas. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this, and we're going to wrap things up. So, hopefully the footage will turn out great. So this is the Omnibook 900 from HP, once again. It's a very business laptop, nothing really, you know, out of the blue, extraordinary, except that it's from overseas, and it still has a good battery in it. I'm um, not sure if it's the original one. Uh, complies with Canadian EMC Class B. Is this from... No way, nobody... Oh, now where is this? Oh, there, there it is. I cannot get any of the better proof than anything. You can read it here. Uh, made in France. I cannot get any more better proof than that. It is from overseas. Period. Um, yeah, this thing actually holds on well. And as for the thickness of it, think of it. That's my Toshiba laptop from uh, 2009. No, wait, 2007, 2008. And, uh, as in comparison, um, I don't know, you be the judge, but it looks like the Toshiba is a little bit more thicker. Also, there is a clip that, there we go. But, if this is the original battery, then that's beautiful, because this one barely holds 10, 15 minutes now. 
I felt like I've been abusing the battery, but mm -hmm. so anyways, if you happen to pick one up, that's great. You know, keep it up. But uh, this one's a rare breed and will not be used for testing purposes. I think I already got enough computers around here for that. <laughs> so, anyways, if you got any questions, comments, anything I've overlooked or not looked at on this particular machine, please feel free to leave me a comment down below. And until next time, take care.